In this video, I'll be showing you how to summon a ghost in Brookhaven. Like seriously, a lot of crazy and weird stuff happened. So please leave your like, subscribe and watch until the end. It's gonna be real good. Okay, what happened to Brookhaven? Everything is so dark. This is bizarre. I actually have no clue what happened to the game. Let's go towards some light. So guys, here's the sitch. In this video, I'll be showing you how to summon a ghost in Brookhaven. There are actually many ways to do that. And I'll be showing the first way right now. Also, something that I didn't realize until now. Look at the clock. It's 3 a.m. Now I know why it is so creepy. Since everything is so dark, I'll get my flashlight. Let's hope this helps out a bit. As this is getting too spooky. We gotta go to the housing lots. Get ourselves a home. In this first way to summon a ghost that I'll show you. You can choose any one of these houses in the game. But in this case, I think I'll be choosing this dark one right here. Since it's the scariest house in all of Brookhaven. Look at all of this. This is the only place with some light. Everything else is pure darkness. I'll just go inside. It looks a lot safer inside this place. Got my flashlight. And now I'll be showing the first thing you need to do to summon a ghost. We gotta look for the house's settings. In this house, there are these buttons where you can change the color of the lights. But that's not what I'm looking for. The settings we are looking for are actually these ones right here. There's even a button where we can put the house on fire. If we click here, the house literally starts to burn now. Where is the fire? Is it not working? Oh gosh, it is working. As you can see, after clicking then a lot of the house starts bursting on fire. And if we don't want that anymore, we just click here and there. Bye bye fire. But as you can see, there's a lot more options here. In this top button, we got the so-called disaster control. We can summon zombies, fire, bugs, aliens, and lots more. For example, let's just make the house have regular white lighting. If we go to this menu and click on blackout, all of the house's lights are gonna burn out. Look how dark it is. One of the coolest things with that one is that if we go up to a light switch, you can see that sparks are coming out of it. By the way, this house holds a secret that not everyone knows, and I'll be showing it right now. First, we gotta go upstairs to this room right here. The same room as the safe. And right by the side of this bed, we gotta go down this hole here. It can even look like there's nothing there. But there's a secret passage there. But before that, we gotta make our avatar smaller. Just like that. Now we just go to the side of the bed and we'll find ourselves in this secret room. This place is really scary. It has a black X on the ground. I don't know why. There are two chairs that I don't know why they are there. Was there someone that hid themselves here? Something that I still don't understand what is this wooden thing on the wall. It even has a mirror or something like that with it too. And lastly there is this black book on the ground with a paper from the agency. Very weird. As you know, the agency always has their fingers in Brookhaven's most weird stuff. Now let's get far away from that place. Now! Our first way to summon a ghost in Brookhaven. We gotta go to the disasters menu again. And we gotta click this option. It will be written ghost for you guys. After you click that option, good golly, some weird stuff starts to happen around the house. You already start by hearing a lot of weird noises. Oh, that's the ghost we were looking for. It appears, flickers, and then it just disappears. As you can see, it can appear anywhere inside the house. Looks like she's not at the garage. Neither in the dining room. She must be upstairs. Not in this room. Gosh darn it. Where's that ghost? Maybe her soul went to another plane. I actually can't find her at all. What about the secret place? Nope, not here. She doesn't want to appear anymore. That is so creepy. Wait, she's right here. So yeah. This is the first option to summon a ghost inside of Brookhaven. But just so you know, not everyone is able to summon a ghost into their home. Look at her there again! Because for you to have these options, you will have to have premium access in Brookhaven. Whenever you have that, you'll be able to use every one of these options. If I'm not mistaken, is this disaster pack right here. Holy moly! Are you hearing all of these sounds? I'm getting away from here. Now I'll be showing you guys the second way for us to summon a ghost in Brookhaven. Let me just make my character taller again first. Now we're gonna need a vehicle, since it's pretty far away. We got the car right here, 
So let's go. What's happening to my car? Is it RGB? Now it stopped for some reason. But I'm sure he wasn't blue. It's weird how my car just turned RGB out of nowhere. Let's just focus on the task at hand and go to the hospital. We have to come up here and go to the broken window. A place that every Brookhaven player must know. But for those that don't know... This is a secret room hidden above the hospital. You can see that it's dirty and abandoned. There's a lot of furniture just thrown to the ground. There's even a hospital bed for us to lie in. But I ain't gonna do that. This place is too weird. Now, our objective is to get into this room. All we gotta do is click on this agency paper on this table. After we click it, this fire will start appearing. The weirdest of all of this is that there's just a gun lying around this paper. What does that mean? Well, we still got a gun out of it. I want to see one of these ghosts come up to me with this. Let's get back into our car now. Everything is so dark. Where are the headlights of this car? Let's turn that on then. Now our next stop is right at the library. All we gotta do is jump into this wall and we'll grab this hidden red book. Grabbing it will make a very weird sound. Now we are almost done with our second method of ghost summoning. Let's get back into our car. This street is giving me such agony. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Our last stop is Brookhaven's new museum. And now that we got that book, we can just click it into this empty case here and right there we will have summoned a ghost. It works like that little girl ghost on the house. It flickers just as well. And you can also see that it is holding a book just like mine. It also seems like the ghost is the same guy on this painting here. This is really creepy. Not even mentioning that it appeared in place of that skull. Meaning that it's probably his. I... I'm going out. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Now for our next objective, we gotta go to the church. I think we need to go up this hill. We're in the right place. Right? Yes. We found it. This place at night looks so freaking ominous. Now we'll go inside. We have to click right here at funerals. And as we do that a coffin will appear. We can even put a name there. So let me put my name. Now it's got my name. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I don't want my name involved with this. So, for the secret of this church we will have to lay down on this coffin right here. It's pretty bizarre. But let's do it. And if we take a closer look. Inside this casket, there will be a picture of Brookhaven's old owner. You can see that it's an old picture. He's probably not with us anymore. It's not a way to summon a ghost, but that's pretty cool. There's another secret to this church, but for that we'll need to go to a house. Again, towards the darkness. Now let's buy ourselves a home. We have to get exactly this house right here. Now we get inside. Go upstairs. Now in this hallway, there's a secret room right here. And it is literally on top of me. We just have to give it a click. It will lower this little elevator that will take us up. And if you didn't know, this is also where they hide this place is safe. But today, we aren't trying to get rich. So we gotta go towards this side. And we'll find these shiny looking things. We already got it. So we can get out of here. This item is very important for what I'm about to show you. With it in hand, we gotta go back to the church. We won't be going inside. We have to circle towards the back of the church. Then jump up this roof and we gotta find a way to go up this one too. It looks like I'm too little for that. So we'll have to get the ladder. We just gotta put it right there. Climb on top of it and there we go. We can see the church there and we gotta jump on top of its roof. Where we will find this secret looking button kind of thing. As we click on it, it's gonna glow. Check it out. Wow, such glowy. Now we go down and finally enter the church. Inside of it we get our coffin back in the middle. We stand right at this glowing hexagon. Now if you pay attention there's a new glowing button next to the coffin. And as we click on it we will appear somewhere else. This is so bizarre. And for those that don't know where I am, I am above Brookhaven streets. The church literally just teleported me there for whatever reason. That's so spooky. By the way, if any of you guys know any of these secrets, please comment below, as I would love to know what you guys know. Also, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel if you still haven't done that. Now we'll finally be looking at the third method of summoning a ghost in Brookhaven. Dude! What's happening here? Everything is dirty, like it's rusty or something. Right where I was before, there are cracks on the pavement and weeds growing in it. What's happening to Brookhaven? Let's just get into our car. Damn, these streets have seen better days. Everything looks so broken. Dude, 
Did this also happen to the police station? I'm so confused. I'm getting away from here. This is getting scary. First things first, we gotta get a house. Not any house. This one right here. We gotta go inside. Upstairs into this big bedroom right here. And right beneath this bed, there will be a hidden button. As soon as we click on the button, it will start to glow. And that's the only thing we needed this house for. I don't know if you noticed, but all of these buttons seem related. They all glow just like each other. After that, we'll have to go back to the church. Look at how the church looks now. The outside is dirty. The inside even more. I have never seen this place as dirty as it is now. This is getting weird. All we gotta do now is ring the bell of the church. You will hear its sound as it rings. Now let's get back into our car. Wait, what? Why is it catching on fire now? Give me a moment. Oh, now it stopped? What is even happening? What if we get inside again? Dude, this car started being on fire out of nowhere. Why is all this weird stuff happening today? Let's continue on down, even if it's hard to see anything. Our next stop is the big arch that we have in the game. You won't be able to see it in this pitch darkness, but we are here. And if we go right here to the side of it, you'll see the secret item we are looking for. I'll just grab it real quick. This is one of the main things we'll need to show you guys the secret. Now let's continue on to our next stop, which will be the new Brookhaven Museum. These streets are all so badly damaged now. I'm so worried about what happened. Finally, we are here. Even inside the museum, it's all dirty and musty. Looks as if there were some major leaks coming down that wall. Even the painting is dirty. Now that we have this, we have to go towards these frame pictures. Now we gotta hold it up until the sound goes. And there we go. Now that empty case will be glowing yellow. And this place in the picture will be highlighted. Which is the other one of these arcs we have on Brookhaven. Which is actually the place where the church button teleported me to. Right above it. Then we are on our way. Let me just increase my speed as we were going too slow. There we go. Oh gosh. I can't see anything. Dude. I have no control over this thing. Holy moly. Okay, I think we are finally here. Now we gotta go right into this abandoned house. And as we go inside, we are face to face with this. Which is something or other that is sitting on this chair right there. But you can't tell me that it doesn't look like a ghost or creature of some kind. The only thing is that we can't really interact with it. There's not a known item that does something to this thing. Even with these claws, they don't do anything to it. So yes. This was our third and final method to summon a ghost, or something like that, in Brookhaven. If anyone knows what this thing is, please tell me. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please haunt one of these videos on screen right now. They're awesome. Please drop a like and comment below if you know anything that I don't know about these ghosts, and of course subscribe for more content just like this. Have a good one!